Hi everyone, long time no see. How are you? I'm back from my Japan trip and I can't wait to share you my experience with you guys. Yes, I could go to Japan finally after two and a half years. So if you are curious how much Japan has changed during the pandemic, keep watching this video. So first of all, the big question, how could I travel to Japan? So if you guys probably know, Japan has some of the most stringent travel restrictions in the world since the pandemic. Travel for tourism is still not permitted, expect you have a Japanese passport, family members in Japan or if you travel for business or school purposes. But there is hope that Japan aims to reopen to international tourism in June. Before I could travel to Japan, I had to prepare a lot of paperwork. I had to download and complete an app called MySOS. You will need to do a PCR test before you fly to Japan and your test center has to complete a special form which is called Certificate of Testing for COVID-19. It was hard to get and so complicated. When you arrive in Japan, you have to answer more questions and do another PCR test at the airport. All in all, this took us around one additional hour until we went through the whole process at Tokyo Haneda Airport and until we received our test result. So, depending on your test result, you will either be free or worst case, if you are positive, you need to quarantine yourself. People coming from Switzerland who got vaccinated three times and have a negative test result after arrival do not need to quarantine. Enough of talking. Now let me show you the things I did in Tokyo. First things first, I went to Shibuya to get some new clothes at the 109 department store. People are getting crazy about the Jujutsu Kaisen anime so you could see it everywhere. There was even a pop-up store at Tokyo Plaza in Harajuku which I will show you guys just in a few minutes. You definitely need to watch it if you haven't seen this anime yet. The 109 is one of my favorite fashion malls. Sadly, a lot of clothing stores have closed because of the pandemic or are taking a break at the moment. And here we are at the new Harajuku station. I remember that there was a big construction site the last time when I was in Japan. Let's have a quick walk through the Takeshita street. There is a whole floor with lots of toy capsule machines at Alta Shopping Mall. I really recommend you to have a look here. Everyone in Japan is wearing a mask by the way, both indoors and outdoors. The La Forêt is also one of my favorite fashion mall in Tokyo. And here is the Jujutsu Kaisen pop-up and gallery at Tokyo Plaza. Let's go inside and have a look. Now let's switch to some cute stuff. If you are looking for character goods, you need to go to Kitty Land. I went to the iconic Tokyo Tower on my very last day in Tokyo. I will show you a really cool and secret photo location soon, so make sure to keep subscribed to my channel. I'm also going to upload some detailed videos about the cafes I visited and the new Shibuya Sky Observatory, so stay tuned! Shinjuku is also worth a visit. Guess where I am?
Yes, it's Akihabara. So what do I do in Akihabara? I usually check out the Radio Kaikan for new mokeke or I simply go to my favorite maid cafe. That's it for today. Stay tuned for Totori, Osaka and Kyoto, which was on my program too. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you need any detailed travel information about Japan, I wrote my whole personal experience on my blog. You will find the link below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. Take care everyone and see you soon again. Bye!